Hi, everyone. This is Brent Wessler with Kodak Alaris. I'm the Global Pre-Sales Solutions Engineer, and I'm going to take you through a quick Google Document AI processor setup. So here we're going to leverage one of the unique uh, specialized, we call them pre-built processors from Google and how we take this processor ID and add it to info input so that we can process bank statements uh, without any additional configuration. So here we got uh, on the screen the Google Cloud Document AI. And again, to get to the Document AI engine, there's a lot of setup uh, that you need to do prior to what I'm gonna show you. But as you can see here, the Document AI engine, and you can see here, we can explore processors, we can create custom processors. Uh, we'll see here, in our case, we're gonna click on processor gallery, and you can see all the different types of possible pre-built and I think there's like 40 of them as you notice here and most of them are around tax forms uh, you can see some uh, France driver's license uh, home HOA statements uh, you have things like bank statements which we're going to do mortgage statements pay slips as you can see quite a few different ones driver's licenses utilities i9s or excuse me w9s and w2s so we're going to go up to the bank statement one today so bank statement and we're going to hit create processor now i've already done this uh but we're just going to simply create a uh a name here bank statement one and the advanced options are just around encryption so we're going to hit create and this is going to give us our processor now uh, here in our processor, you'll see here bank statement one is the one we just grabbed. So you can see bank statement and you can see this ID and this is the ID we're going to use to connect to our host system. Now, before we get there, I do want you to know we can add in some cases, add your own data set. And when you do this, um, this is uh, basically the concept of uh, training the system specifically on the statements that you uh, have. Um, by default, all of these processors are going to de uh, define and default to specific names. Okay, so when we go in here to one I've, I've already uh, added, you're going to notice when I use the bank statement parser and I upload a test image, you can see on the left, these are all the fields that get defined and brought back by the parser by default. OK, so you don't get to change these fields unless you create a new data set, um, which I'm not going to go into today. So for now, uh, as you can see, our account number, bank name, and it's underscore. So we need to verbatim take exactly what we have here, bank underscore name. And we're going to take the ID, which we uh, have here. So I take this ID and we're going to go create. Uh, this job in info input. So let's take a look. So, in, and we're going to go into our extraction profile, and you can see here, I just created a new extraction, and I'm going to put in the ID that we set. Okay, uh, oop, uh, that we set here. I'm going to copy this, and we're going to paste that in here, and we're going to save that. And now we have a bank statement parser. And uh, what that's going to do is allow us to basically uh, call out to that custom bank statement. So let's build a job now. We already have a job set up, so it's going to be a very simplistic one. Um, when I create the job, I'm simply going to go into my intelligent OCR step and I'm going to select the Google bank statement extraction profile that I set in that step. Uh, next thing I need to do is just map the fields for info input. We just need to put the exact name of the field. So as you saw there in a previous step, bank underscore name, account underscore number, client name. And all I'm doing is going into my document class that I've specified and mapping the fields. OK, so in this case, uh, I just have a date field. I'm going to set that to the start date. Of course, there's an end date as well. I could set up and then the client name, the bank name, which I want to put as institution. OK, so that's it. Now we can go in and let's add a new document. So we're going to come in bank statement. We're going to add a couple. So we'll grab the Sikorsky and the Citibank one. You can see separated into two different documents.
And our batch is ready. As you can see here, I'm going to right click and open this up and let's take a look at those two documents. So we got both documents. Notice how the account number automatically got extracted, the date, the client name and the institution. Again, with no knowledge base, no pre prior training, we are able to execute and set up this job very quickly. You can see on the second document, we did the same. We were able to extract the relevant data. And you can see that when I do click on each field, it does show where it's extracting that value from. Thanks for attending. This is a quick demonstration of the Google Document AI creating a custom form parser. Thank you.